I am Carol Angela Davis with your cannabis news. Folks, do research. Shows that CBD that you get over at that gas station, okay, sometimes it's delivering only about 40% of the potency on the label. That is the word from a study performed by the CBD Awareness Project. Now, in order to do the study, the researchers purchased 15 CBD products from various sales outlets in South Florida. They bought topicals, they bought edibles, they bought infused beverages, and they bought them from various prices. They got them at grocery stores, at gas stations, at CBD stores. Here's what they found. Uh, well, first they tested them, of course, for CBD content, and the testing was done by SC Labs in California. The results were then compared with the potency that was on the label. Here's what they found. 60% of items purchased at the retailers had no detectable CBD. The potency of items purchased from CBD stores had on average only 83% of the CBD that was indicated on the label. Products purchased at grocery stores were consistently more potent than those bought at both gas stations and CBD specific retailers, delivering 130% of the amount of CBD on the label. Now topicals, you should know, delivered about 40% of the advertised potency. 40% of those containing more CBD than indicated and 20% having less. Three quarters of the edible products had less CBD than labeled and 25% had more. CBD infused beverages, folks, those were the least reliable with 75% of them, if you can believe this, containing no CBD and the remaining 25% showing less than the amount on the label. By price point, bargain products costing $5 or less were the least reliable, with half containing no detectable CBD and the rest all containing less than advertised. Half of the products in the $10 to $15 range contained less CBD than advertised. 25% had more CBD than indicated and the re remaining 25% were as advertised. I'm Carol Angela Davis.